now we're going to set up the biases metabolic cart. And what we're going to do first is talk about setting up the system and calibrating it so that it can be used uh, wirelessly. Uh, first thing you want to do is get your regulator and put it on the gas tank. There are these little uh, hinges here that are going to go into this side of the gas tank. Make sure they go flush and that you tighten it down, but don't tighten it too tight. Just make sure it's uh, fairly tight on there. And now this, um, the gas port, is going to connect into the back of the receiving unit for the biases. Make sure you hear a click or feel a click when you push it in there, and it shouldn't come off when you just pull it. Uh, in terms of setup, you want the computer to be uh, through USB attached to the back of the receiving unit. You want this receiving unit, this one, you can use any Ethernet cord, uh, blue is just uh, just the color, they're all the same. Plug it into this one with the yellow bar, into the front of the uh, receiving unit right here, this SBX port. Uh, make sure that the computer's plugged into the power and that the receiving unit's plugged into power with, through the power cords. You can see this full functioning green light. If it's, um, if, it's, if it's not full functioning, it means it's not plugged into power, so it'll be low functioning. It only works with full functioning. Um, so you want to turn the computer on. And while that's turning on, you can continue your setup. And uh, you have these three pieces the air turbine, uh, the inlet, and the mid piece that uh, connects the two and also receives the, um, the flow data. So you want to connect these two like this. They connect like this. And then you take the part with the block. See this side is the turbine end. You want to put this side in this way. So it's nice and snug in there. And you're going to plug this into the front of the receiving unit, like so. And then this side is going to go into the port on the wireless unit. And that should just screw on nicely. And the second piece you need to connect to the receiving unit is an air sample line. This blunt end goes on to the wireless unit. And the pointing end goes into the receiving unit. And you just put that in there nice and snug. This isn't connected to anything initially, but you want to do make sure what you want to make sure it has is a new battery. So there's a battery charging station here. Just switch it out for a new one every time you do a new test. Or every time you calibrate at least. So that has a new battery, but we're not going to worry about that until uh, we go into the wireless mode. So this is the complete setup for calibration. Um, you need to go to the computer to calibrate. There's no, no password on this computer. And the program we're going to be using is called JLab Manager. Right here. It's uh, away from everything else on the desktop on this computer. And you can see that uh, the system opens up. It, uh, it starts uh, working with the receiving unit and it's going to take 15 minutes to warm up. After the 15 minute warm up you want to hit Auto Cal Ball Oxycon. It's this uh, icon right here. Um, after the 15 minute warm up this whole screen pops up and this is what you're working with. You want to click this button. This is the screen you'll see. You wait for the play button to um, become illuminated up here. You want to click this. Uh, you want to make sure that you have this uh, assembly installed properly and connected to the receiving unit, the wireless unit, and you'll see a green link, uh, blinking light here. So when you get all that done, you want to click this play button right here. It's going to send air through the receiving unit uh, and calibrate the gas flow. So it finished gas flow, it's going to give us data in one second. For the percent difference you want to see below, 
a 3% difference. And we see a 0.4, so we can go ahead down to this icon down here and save our results. After volume calibration, we want to turn on the tank to do gas calibration. You only need to turn it about 180. If the thing, if you hear whistling or leaking, you need to turn it off and reseal the regulator. And then for gas calibration, we're going to go to gas analyzer calibration. You see a similar setup with the play button illuminated over here. Um, to do gas calibration, go ahead and click on the play button. It's going to sample air for a little while. So once it finishes calibration, we want to look here at this D time value. Go over to the percent difference. We want to see less than 1% for both of these. We see a 0 and we see a 0.7. So it passed gas calibration. And we can click the same save button over here. Brings back our home screen and that finishes calibration for the Viasis.